Hello everyone, this is CycleBlueR2K here, bringing you a request video today. And request video is brought to you by Big Boss, who actually wanted uh, Hyperforest Jack D. Thomas, aka he calls it Bob the Builder. And yeah, this is Jack, level 6, pretty decent. He hits pretty tough, and uh, his stats are okay. So yeah, technically, Jack D. Thomas is part of Hyperforest, which is actually a board game. Power Rangers kind of thing that's actually canon in the Power Ranger universe. So these guys are a legit canon. And they're for part of Time Force in a way, but it'll be more years after the Time Force Rangers. Who their leader is Jen Scott. The commander in a way. And yeah, he's a retired police officer who decided to become a Ranger. And fun fact, the person that plays them is actually the actor that played Bulk. So technically we have Bulk in the game who's a ranger, technically. And he's a ram. So let's see what we're playing with. I'm running Zanako and Tommy because why not? Because he has two breakers, one strike, and one counter. Be good. I mean he has a five cost, but obviously that five cost hits hard. So let's take him to ladder and see how many wins we get with him. Let me open this box. So yeah, this character is pretty fun. He's a very heavy kind of character. And well, Hyperforce is a very interesting board game. The guy who plays Prince Preston is actually the Red Ranger in this one. And they have a couple other ones. They do also have a white white force ranger or silver time force ranger, I believe. But yeah, it's interesting. So let's see what we're fighting against. Just prepared a battle, but what's going on? Either I'm gonna get disconnected or I think my opponent is gonna get disconnected. There we go. So we're playing Lord Z with Damn, that's a lot of block assist. I, I'm hitting the block. So why is it when I... Why is it when I do a move? Oh, okay. I'm stuck. Uh, I don't know what to do here. What the fuck? What is going on? I backdash. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I backdash from that move, but apparently it doesn't register that I'm backdashing. Obviously, I was stuck with a fucking block in my middle slot, and that pissed me the fuck off. I need my breakers. How am I going to get past this double block meta if I'm stuck with a block in my fucking slot? I can't fucking block the fucking hit. But when I play Lord Z, they block my fucking move. I don't understand that. That's so stupid. I'm already getting frustrated. Because I blocked it, but apparently the block doesn't register it. But hell, when I use Lord Z, everyone blocks my fucking move. Ugh, I'm already getting frustrated. I can't. I got to calm down. Double block piece of shit. Ugh, pissed me the fuck off. God, what's with these fucking block characters that run block assist? Do not do that. Oh, of course. I'm already fucking just getting frustrated. Ugh. Why am I doing this? You really can't have a video well, please sirens. You really can't. Uh oh. 
I think I should win this. Nope. I won. Give him a hammer of justice. I honestly don't know. You can't have an R2K video without police sirens, ambulance, or fire trucks passing by. I honestly hate characters that do have a block move and they rely on block assist still. You're always going to guarantee your block move. Cassie always gets that block move. <sighs> Sorry. I need to calm down. I was frustrated in the last first match because it was like, how is that possible that when I played Lord's Dead, I didn't get, everyone got blocked my move, but when I fight it once when I can't block it. But it is what it is. Let's just focus and calm down and try to be positive. So let's see. Well, I guess obviously we're fucking lagging hard. Alright, now we're back to normal. I don't know what the heck is going on. There you go. Oh no! Okay, I want it. I didn't have enough energy for his ram slam. I don't know why is this so laggy today. Well, we got that win. And like I say, I think Blake is still one of the worst Ninja Storms out of the three that were released. Obviously, Tori's one, Cam is two, but Blake is there. All right, let's continue on to the next match. So far, not bad. So far, not bad. Just another couple of reads I got to learn how to do in time, right? I might change this to an assist, maybe. Who knows? I might go Guile. Maybe. No, actually, I won't go Guile. I don't feel like I need to go for a block assist. Well, we'll see. I might go double strikes. I don't know. I feel like he's one of the top epics, but just underrated because a lot of people use our characters. Mm, this is going to be tricky. Yep. I'm stuck. I'm stuck with the blocks. This is gonna be fun. Right. Is this guy really gonna turtle me? Yeah, he is. And he's dying for that. Oh, hammer, ram head. Look at that. Give him the rams. Beat them down with the Rams. Unlike the football team Rams. But yeah. The better Ram player won. I don't know. I like Jack. He's actually pretty fun. 
he's one of those epics that's just very tanky and he hits tough. But I think it takes a lot of practice to actually like play him. You gotta learn know when to do your uh, block attack or cancel it, bait them out, when the time that ram hit. So I, I think I'm surprised I actually outbeat TJ's hit. I didn't think the ram hit, hammer hit, ram hit was gonna hit him. I mean, his breaker, his hammer is slow, but I think yeah, that's what the stun is for with the ram. You just stun him and go for the hammer. You got to build stuff up with a hammer. Or as Chris Draco says, bring, break the walls down. That's what you got to do. It's one of the fun epics. I like it. It's, it's pretty fun. Little book boy. All right, we're playing against Antonio. He knows I don't have a block, but that's fine. Hammer time. Damn, that's a slam alone was a crit. Hammer time, man. So far, so good. I like his damage up, but I mean, like, was it 10,000? 10 10K on his hammer alone was pretty much. And if you get crit, uh, that's that's going to kill you, actually. So let's see who else we're going to fight. I, mean, I haven't been really playing this game, so it's good. I'm climbing up on ladder real quick. I usually like just chill for a while. All right, Solar Ranger. I I blocked. I hate this chick already. Hammer of Justice. Oh. Thank you. I don't know. I waste a lot of energy just doing all that. Oh no, no, it lag. Got you. That solar chick out of here. Lift her up. Toss that girl. I, I really pay fine solar rangers. I got lucky on that. I got lucky she didn't dodge in time to get the his shoulder tackle. I think he had a V2 assist. I'm pretty sure he had a V2 assist. Because if he would have caught an injury, it would have just saved him. And I would have lost. That's the thing about V2 assist, it's good, but I feel like if it doesn't if the first hit does not hit you, you can easily hit him before it even happens. So no, it's not bad. It saved me. Just gotta learn how to time these things right. What was your fight against? All right, Zach. 
Let me character, I gotta time these things right. Nice. I got to time this right. Ah. Oh. Shoot. I think I might lose this for my playing smart. Nah, we got it. Got it. There we go. Flex on him. Show him those arms. Got to show him those guns. I got lucky though. If I didn't, if I would have got a strike, I think I would have lost that. But I look, I could do another block. How much time we have? All right, we'll do one more, one more match to end it. So far, so good. I think we only lost once to Lord Zed. A uh, shitty way to lose to Lord Zed, but yeah, so far so good. Not bad for a character. He's very. He's very good. I think him and Hector are far pretty underrated epics I see on ladder. I mean, you do run into Hecos more than Jack, but I mean, Jack is so good. I have yet to run into that many good Jack players. Usually if I do, they just like taunting or flex on me too much. But he's not bad. I mean, he could run Jack with any kind of assist, technically. You could run him with double strikes. You could run him with a block, because, I mean, he doesn't get that many blocks when he can. His block his block primate comes in here and there. But still, no, not that bad. So let's see where our last opponent's going to be. Anyone? Anyone want to get this hammer? There we go. All right, we ran into the same dude. mean to happen like that oh they actually had connected I don't know why you did that but hammer oh justice oh wow okay yep smack smack <laughs> yeah that's not gonna happen get a knuckle sandwich Nah, that's not gonna happen, man. I felt bad just getting smacking him. I'm surprised my counter move beat his counter move, though. I think mine's connected first. Yeah, so, all in all, pretty good. I mean, I only lost once. I mean, Jack is tough. I mean, look at. The damage I have on him is pretty good. I don't think I even have his talents maxed out. I mean, imagine if I had his talents maxed out. Look at that. I think if I have him maxed out, he'll be hitting harder than that. He is not bad for an epic. And if you guys have him, level him up. He, he is fun to play. You can use him with any assist, and he just feels so good to play with. I mean, yeah, he's a 5 cost, but look at that 5 cost. That does a lot of damage. If you get a crit, you're killing him half ways. So, I mean, not bad. I mean, bring the police force. Bring the hammer down on them. Bring that justice slam on them. Just whoop out the hammer say it's hammer time. Because, I mean, this character is fun. And I had fun actually playing him. Except for the first match with Lord Zed. I kind of raged there. But after that, it was all pretty good. But that concludes today's episode. And, yeah. So, the next character lineup will be Adam. Riedel, Ryu, 
and now Liam Ball. So this is Psycho Blue 2 k saying peace.